Hi, everyone. Welcome back to our channel. This is Frank from YOLO Live. Today, we're thrilled to introduce our latest product, YOLO Deck. Designed to enhance your YOLO box experience, YOLO Deck gives you physical buttons for quick and easy control, moving beyond the limitations of the touchscreen. In this video, we'll show you exactly how to use YOLO Deck. First, let's connect YOLO Deck to Ultra. In the package, you'll find a USB A to C cable. Connect the USB C end to your YOLO Deck and the USB A end to your Ultra. Alternatively, you can use a USB C to C cable to connect YOLO Deck to Ultra if you have one available. It's important to note that we recommend connecting YOLO Deck before you enter the live event. This ensures that everything is set up and ready to go for a smooth streaming experience. When you first connect YOLO Deck to Ultra, you might notice that YOLO Deck is black and doesn't display any icons. Don't worry, this is completely normal. Enter the events and head over to the settings section of your YOLO box. Scroll down until you find the YOLO Deck configuration option. Inside the YOLO Deck configuration menu, you'll see a few options. To initialize YOLO Deck, simply click Save. Once you hit Save, you'll see your YOLO Deck light up and display the icons, indicating that it's ready to go. If you make any changes and need to reset YOLO Deck, you can easily do so by clicking the Reset button within the same configuration menu. This will revert YOLO Deck to its initial settings. Now, let's go over how to set up and customize the buttons on YOLO Deck. To add a function to a button, simply press and hold the function you want to add, then drag it to the desired position on your YOLO Deck layout. If you want to remove a function from a button, press and hold the corresponding button. You'll see a delete icon appear in the right hand toolbar. Drag the button over to the delete icon to remove it. Alternatively, if you want to replace an existing function with a new one, press and hold the function you want to add, then drag it directly onto the button with the function you want to replace. Currently, YOLO Deck supports adding up to 10 video sources. This allows you to easily switch between multiple cameras or video feeds during your live stream. To add a video source to a button on YOLO Deck, simply press and hold the function you want to add from the list on the right side of the screen. Then, drag it to the desired position on your YOLO Deck layout. You'll see the button light up, indicating that the function has been successfully assigned. Make sure to click Save before you exit the settings page to ensure all your changes are applied. You can switch between them by pressing the corresponding buttons on YOLO Deck. If you switch video sources directly on YOLO Box, the corresponding button on YOLO Deck will also light up. This ensures that you always have a clear visual indication of which video source is currently active, whether you're using YOLO Deck or YOLO Box. Overlays add a professional touch to your live streams. Currently, YOLO Deck supports up to 10 overlay sources. The order of the overlays is determined by the sequence in the overlay menu on your YOLO box. To add an overlay source to a button on YOLO Deck, simply press and hold the overlay you want to add from the list on the right side of the screen. Then, drag it to the desired position on your YOLO Deck layout. Remember to click Save before you exit the settings page to apply your changes. Unlike video sources, which can only be switched, overlay sources can be stacked. This means you can select multiple overlays at the same time. You can activate multiple overlays simultaneously, and each selected overlay button will light up to show it's in use. Go Live button allows you to start your live stream directly from YOLO Deck. Before you can use the Go Live button, you need to select your streaming platform on YOLO Box. This step is crucial as it ensures that your live stream is directed to the correct platform. Once you've set up your streaming platform, you can press the Go Live button on YOLO Deck. The Go Live button will then change to Pause Live, indicating that your stream is active. If you need to pause your live stream, simply press the Pause Live button. It's important to note that pausing is different from ending your live stream. To resume your live stream, just press the Pause Live button again, and your broadcast will continue from where you left off. Recording is a fundamental feature. Before you start recording, make sure to set up your recording settings on YOLO Box. Once your recording settings are configured, you can start recording by pressing the recording button on YOLO Deck, and your recording will begin. Next, let's talk about the FTB button, which stands for Fade to Black. This is a simple yet powerful feature for transitioning between scenes or ending a segment smoothly. There are two navigation buttons. 
one for moving forward and one for moving backward between pages. It's important not to delete these buttons as they are essential for navigating through different function pages on Yolo deck. To add a new page for additional functions, simply click the plus sign at the bottom of the configuration page. This will create a new page where you can add more function buttons. There are two dedicated buttons for replay, start replay and stop replay. Before you can use the start replay button, you need to set up your replay settings on YOLO box. To start a replay, simply press the start replay button on YOLO deck. This will automatically generate a replay playlist and begin playback. It's important to note that using start replay doesn't distinguish between play now and play later. It will start the replay immediately. If you need to pause the replay, press the stop replay button. Next, last page buttons are specifically designed for navigating PDF documents. With these buttons, you can easily switch between pages. Simply press next page to move forward and last page to go back. However, please note that currently, this function does not support switching pages for image sources. We are working on optimizing this feature for future updates. Program max button is used to maximize the program feed giving you a full screen view of your live stream. Currently, this function doesn't allow you to minimize the view once it's maximized, but we are working on improving this feature in future updates. The program audio button controls the audio that is streaming to your audience. When you press this button, it turns red, signaling that the program audio is active. AFV button stands for audio follows video. When you activate this function, the audio will automatically switch to follow the video source you are currently displaying. Press the button and it turns red to show that AFV is enabled. One of the most popular features for our sports live stream users is the scoreboard function. YOLO deck makes it easy to manage and display scoreboards. It's important to note that you need to select the scoreboard template on YOLO box beforehand. This ensures that the scoreboard displays correctly according to your chosen layout. Once the template is set, you can easily display the scoreboard by pressing the scoreboard button on YOLO deck. In addition to displaying the scoreboard, YOLO deck also allows you to change scores quickly and conveniently. Press the home score plus button to increase the home team's score and the home score minus button to decrease it. Similarly, use the away score plus and away score minus buttons to adjust the away team's score. Finally, YOLO deck also supports the feature or hide comment functionality, which consists of two separate buttons for featuring and hiding comments. With the feature comment button, you can highlight the latest comments from your audience. On the other hand, it allows you to remove a comment from the display if needed. Let's talk about three quick access buttons on YOLO deck that make navigating your YOLO box interface faster and more efficient. Switch to mixing tab, switch to overlay tab, and switch to comment tab. When you press switch to mixing tab button, YOLO box will immediately switch to the audio mixer tab. The other two buttons also work like this. With YOLO deck, you can manage your live streams more effectively. We can't wait to see how you'll use it to create amazing content. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all our latest tech insights. Also, don't forget to join our Facebook user group where lots of our customers share their user cases. If you have any questions or would like to know more about YOLO Live, you can contact us via email at contactyololive.com. If your need is urgent, you can call us at plus 86 13735 8125 89. If you need to express your needs through pictures or videos, you can also contact us via WhatsApp. The number is still plus 86 13735 8125 89. See you in the next video.